Welcome to a new fragrance review. Today, special video, I'm going to show you how is a day in my life when I'm recording videos. First thing in the morning, take a shower, make my breakfast. Right now I'm doing carnivore diet, so my breakfast is a really big uh, steak and egg breakfast. It's chuck steak and three eggs. It's an always crumble eggs, but always three eggs. And then, then I watch informative videos. These days I'm watching a lot of videos by Jordan Peterson, and I do this as I eat. So we're back in a setup that you're a bit more used to. Today, I'm gonna record a couple of videos. We got Mankind by Kenneth Cole, that I got fragrance. There's mm, there's 4M and Pretty Little Dot by Julia Tazigan. And uh, that's the only two fragrance I'm reviewing this week. I'm doing also this video that you're watching. This is weird because I'm uh, recording this one but it's the original when it's for last week at the time that you're watching it and i recorded mankind hero for this week and other day also i'm gonna do a video about old spice the smell that i like and best fragrance for men i think our best fragrance for men the point you're gonna watch this if you're watching it the day it's released this is the only video that won't be released yet the mm -hmm, whatever we call it that name since i'm talking about this when i'm doing my review i have a guideline of what i'm doing i have my little setup that is done here with a little paper strip to try the fragrance gonna eat only two today i have also a little piece of paper i take a bigger piece of paper and i write ideas and i chip it down and i just put it in show it to you and that little thing here that i prepare a month in advance i have all my ideas of videos per week all the little tester strip i need and if i have samples i leave a sample there so they're easier to find a big bottle it's hard to lose it but a little sample could be so it's there and and the way I do my videos is really simple. I don't have a script or anything. I just start a video. When I review a fragrance, it's easy. Like my plan is the same. I show the bottle, I try to smell on paper. I look on my phone and the notes that I took. Usually it's on my phone. I find on Fragrantica, like how was the fragrance. And I take screenshot, took little notes. Like this one, scan it coal, top notes, what I was picking up, and then that will be scan it coal, the mid heart note, I write mid because it's faster, and here I wrote incense as a note because there's some kind of incense note in heart. I don't like mess up too much with the little slider, I just put X on the thing that I don't smell anymore. Same for base note, since sometimes there's far dry that I write for far dry down. And no fragrance this week had that, so I can show it to you. So I read that, and it'll go with projection, longevity, read the note breakdown on Fragrantica, then I say where I feel the fragrance would go. If there's anything else I want to add, that's what I do. It's pretty much my setup and it's just go intuitively for, well, I like today's a special video. So I'm just going to do little clips through the day, show what I'm doing. When there's two other type of video, there will be a top video. Um, the best fragrance for men will not be like a top five, but it would be like some kind of video in that construction of like the best for a different category. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the bottle that I have that I need for that review so I can just show it and have an idea of what fragrance I'm gonna talk about in the video but still just go no script but just have an idea of which fragrance I want to talk about and when I have other subject that I talk now I don't have any subject but I think in, like in two weeks I'm gonna talk about why fragrance why are fragrance so expensive what's the subject I want to talk about and I'm just gonna record and say whatever I think is good to say. Sometime I might do some research if there's anything that I need to have something specific to know, but usually I just go with what I know. And I think it's important, at least for me, it's not like some people will say it's important to have a script and stick to it so it's good. But I feel it's more natural when I just say whatever I think like that. And it's really what I'm like focusing into. 
having something natural in my speech, you know what I'm saying. Also, I like to not have a script because it forces me into speaking of stuff that I know about. So if I don't have a clue about something, I won't talk about it. And that's all right. I think it's better to talk about what we're good at and not just speak things about research that are half done and that we don't have a clue what we're talking about. A lot of people do this, not necessarily in the fragrance community, but there's a lot of YouTube channel that they will have a person talk about a subject. Usually they are those big, like highly funded YouTube channel that there's a lot of money going on and they don't know what they're talking about, but they still talk about it because they need to make content. And I don't think it's a good idea. I mean, bring them money. So of course it's a good idea for them, but I don't think it's a good idea for a person to do that type of content. So that's about it for that little section. If you have question on how I'm doing my video, I don't have any like crazy setup. I'm having a computer, two projector, you don't see them, but I have one projector that is made especially for uh, people that work in construction. It's uh, like here in a building, there's no electricity yet. That's just a projector. And the other one is really a projector made for a video. It's those little circle that you might see even the reflect on my glasses. It, actually, you see the reflect on both on my glasses sometimes. The reason I have two different projector is not just that I have two different projector that I bought in two different time, because I could have bought two projector the same, is that having a different lighting, it's good. It makes, I don't know exactly how to explain it, but it makes more depth in my face and a video. It doesn't make everything flat. It makes everything in different proportion. I don't know exactly how to explain it, but you should check it out. In most videos, there's like that are having a lot of movies, for example, that you go pay and see. There's all never one big light or different light that's equal, unless that's the goal. There's always different lighting at different intensity, sometimes even different colors to create an effect. And this is what I'm trying to do with this. No, wait, now time to record my videos. Okay, so I just finished recording my videos and something I need to say also when I'm doing those videos, I never wear fragrance before doing them because I don't want my smell to interfere with my analysis of the fragrance. But especially when I'm doing top, like whatever, top five or best fragrance video and stuff like that, give me idea to like wear different fragrance, especially when I pick up stuff that I don't wear so often. And I say it's one of the best. And it remind me that hey, I have this fragrance. It would be nice to try it. So I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna wear as a fragrance yet, but probably a tobacco fragrance since I'm wearing a brown tie. Maybe actually I should wear Puritan. It's been a while. Have been wearing it. I want to say a thing about another fragrance, Patchouli Ardent. It's an amazing fragrance. If you like fig and patchouli, it's, it will be a great fragrance. But I, I get a lot of compliments these days when I wear it. There's always someone that say I smell good. It's really rare that I have so many compliments for a fragrance. You know, it's like everyone. We get compliments from time to time. Uh, some fragrance usually would, there's more factor than just it smells good, but this one we get a lot of compliments. By the way, I'm using Zoom to record the videos. There's a recording function and I just, you know, record I with it and it does the conversion. And then I do, I change the title of the video, put it here. The next step would be do the little files that I'm using for the video. Here I'm having all those little um, card, for example, Mankind, the date. It's not me that do the editing. There's uh, someone to do it for me. And I'm just gonna start creating the new cards for every other fragrance that, and videos that I did today. So just did some shopping. I went uh, to buy some fragrance for reviews, but this Old Spice, the aftershave, We're looking forward to try this one. It's the, not the normal one, it's the Pure Sport. A little bottle like this. Also, I found Perilis Night. I'm gonna have the unboxing right now. Ever heard about it before? There will be eventually a full review of the video of the other fragrance. So you're gonna see the whole thing. So I found a little kit, Mackie for man. 
It's really intrigued by this. It comes with a little soap, so it's a nice little pattern. And finally, I got for free two sample Armani Code Parfum that I already tried, so but I still have it. And I got Polo Red Parfum, the new one that I will be able to review really soon. It will be one of those I will review next week. And that's about it. And if you're here just for fragrance content, that's pretty much it for the day. Video is not done, but I won't really talk about fragrance for the rest of the video. So you can leave if that's your only interest or stay if you want to see how the rest of the day is going. Now I'm in this setup again because I'm having a video call for my podcast Jusqu'au bout that is in French. If you speak French, you can go check it out. This episode will be probably already in air, actually, at the moment that the video you're watching will be published. And it's available pretty much everywhere. YouTube, Spotify, other place where you can see or listen to a podcast. So now I'm putting my setup to do my style video French on the chaîne Intemporel. And there's two videos I'm doing today. There's one video that I'm gonna do for a whole week having different outfit. What I'm having as an outfit every day of the week. A little bit like those fragrance rotation video that we see sometime. It's actually those video that gave me the idea of this and also Gentleman's Gazette at the end of the video, they always do those little uh, outfit rundown what they're wearing. And it could be nice to just put them like, put that together, those two ideas. That's how it came to be. And it's the third one that I'm doing like this. One was for summer, one was for fall, now winter. And as you can imagine, another one will be there. Spring, also I'm working another one for all celebrations through the year. I started to record it this year. We're February the 5th. There's just one video, it's, it's far to be done, but I'm gonna finish to do it. By the way, if you're interested to know what I'm wearing today, since that's what I'm gonna do that video in French, I'm wearing a Joseph Abud suit, it's custom made. My pocket square is uh, something from AliExpress that I found a couple of them for cheap. Necktie is also a Joseph Abud, it just happened that I'm wearing a lot of Joseph Abud today. My shirt is an Oxford button-down shirt by Spear and McKay. My watch, it's Casio watch with a brown leather band to go with the blue-brown thematic that I'm having today. Having a brown belt and when I was outside today I was wearing brown boots. So pretty much everything is done. I'm now at a friend. I'm going there. It's a friend and business partner. We're going to have a meeting for our business and uh, that's going to be it for uh, the evening. That's my last thing that I have to do. I had just leftovers for dinner. Now I'm losing the light that was lighting me and that's about it for now. So now I'm back home and I'm gonna get ready for bed. This is pretty much what's a day in my life recording videos. Hope you enjoyed the video. If it's case, well, like and share. And if you have question on the life of fragrance reviewer, put it in a comment. So thanks for watching and see you soon.